Okay, at this point we're about to put the belt on. Now, like I said before, this isn't a new belt, um, but it's near new, so we're just going to use it. I like to start at the bottom pulley and work my way around. This is the obviously the tensioner on this side. This is the idler pulley, so it's tight on this side because the engine rotates around this way. But I like to start with the bottom pulley. So I don't push it all the way on that bottom pulley. It just sort of sits, sits there like that. Um, I am holding a little bit of tension up on here just so it doesn't fall off. Um, so we're gonna come around and we bring it around the idler pulley. Now we wanna slide it into the teeth on this pulley here. You don't want a whole lot of slack in here so that's kept fairly tight. So I'm just gonna kind of, once it's on the right spot, just gonna slide it in a little bit more on its teeth. Now this is where it's very easy to have it fall off the bottom pulley. So you wanna keep a little bit of tension on this while we wrap it around the next pulley. You wanna be careful that you don't create a system where you've got too much slack in this section. Say like if I tried to do it like that, so we want it as if it's fairly tight between these two. And line it up to the furthest tooth that you can. If that's lined up okay, you will be able to pull that over the tensioner and then slide these all in place. Now before I pull this tension, I'm just gonna double check. That's still in place, they haven't moved. That's still there, and I'm still at top dead center on the bottom. Now I can grab this pin that I had before and pull it out. It's now locked that belt in place. With that locked in place, I can now pull these out. We've got those two out. Next, we need to pull out this locking bar here. Now we'll take the flywheel locking plate out. Now the way I like to operate is just make sure that the kit is all back together before you go any further. Just make sure that I've got all the locking pieces out of it. Um, now this particular kit, it's for the F18D4 engine, which is the engine in these cruisers. Um, it's also got this one, which I've never used, or this one, um, or that locking pin there as well. So um, I have used that on other models, but not on this engine. But make sure your kit's complete before you um, go any further. Next part is I'm gonna install this lower cover. So there's the four 10 mil bolts. Um, these two are easier to access from the top and these two are easier to access from the bottom. Again, just make sure you've got all four bolts in place before you decide to do it up. The next piece is this a little in-between piece. It's actually not bolted in anywhere. It has some clips. Um, and you'll see that this section here lines up with a section in there. And same on that side there. There's no need to force it. Just make sure that it's sitting right at the bottom. And then you'll find that the sides just seem to line themselves up quite nicely. And that one just clips in there. So it sits nicely along the bottom and sits on both sides. And then the last thing to cover this up is the top cover. Now it just sits on there and you've got two 10 mil bolts. But again, just run both, both of these bolts in before you do it up tight. Go 
I'm now just getting ready to put the um, rocker cover back on. This was all filled up with sludge, so it spent a little bit of time in the parts washer. It is a little bit discolored, um, but I'm okay with that. It's still serviceable. The PCV valve in here is still good, so um, we're gonna run with it. Of course, new gasket, so essentially you just wanna lay this out, make sure that you've got it in the right spot before you start feeding it into the groove. So I like to start around the spark plug holes here and just start feeding it in. Make sure that you fully clean these grooves out so that the new gasket can slip in well. Once I've got it all in, I'll just go around and press it right in just to make sure it's not going to pop back out. Once that all is all pushed in, if you're lucky, it should all sit in place so that when you put this cover back on, it's not going to fall out of place. If it is falling out of place, sometimes just a little bit of silicon in some key spots and just let it get a little bit tacky to help hold it in. Um, can always work. Now, I do like putting a little bit of silicon where this corner and this corner hits. So that's just, just here and here. I find that often um, we can see leaks that kind of emerge from that tight corner there. So rather than putting it onto here, I'm actually just gonna put it in here. I'm just using some um, good old JB Weld. And I just want a little bit, I don't want too much. I've just put it in on those corners just so here it's got a better chance of sealing. And because I'm going to be starting this up fairly soon, um, I want to just get some extra oil on things here. Because it's fairly dry at the moment. Now, we did test that that gasket didn't fall off as we held it upside down, but just be super careful as you put it back in place um, that it doesn't drop down. Um, now, I'm go, now you can go around and tighten these up. I like to do the middle one first. Just make sure everything's in place. You can get down and kind of see that your gasket is still there if you're worried about it moving. Now I'm just going to do these up loosely first. So I like to do that middle one because it kind of um, compresses it all down a little bit. And I'm just going to go around and do every second one. Just so it starts to tighten up evenly. and just tighten these up by hand. Um, I didn't look up the specs on these. You just want them nice and firm. You don't want to over tighten it because it is a plastic housing. Um, use a small little ratchet and um, you can't put too much force on these. I'm just gonna sit my oil cap back on. Obviously I need to fill it up with oil, but just prevent anything from potentially dropping in there. I'm also just gonna put the coil pack in, back in now. Um, just make sure that there's no oil or anything on these. Sometimes uh, oil can leak into these and these can be quite a mess. Um, so they wanna be dry and clean when you put them back. I'm going to leave the cover off for a little bit and obviously the electrical connection, we're going to come back to that later.